everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here, I hope you enjoy this vlog. So this vlog is a very quick vlog. It is a collaboration that I'm doing with the, the wonderful Becky from What Beck Sews and also the lovely Shannon from The Sewing Warehouse. Now, for those of you that follow me, you'll know that me, Bex and Shannon went to the Festival of Quilts a while back now. And we all purchased two metres of exactly the same fabric from Lady McElroy. And that fabric was this fabric. It's a spectacle fabric in the linen chambray. And it's these gorgeous ladies looking cool as cucumbers with their spectacles on. And these really nice tones, um, which are all the lovely tones that I like. Um, the greens, the oranges, the ochres, etc. So we purchased two metres of this and we said, wouldn't it be good to do a collaboration? Now I'll put a picture of us all holding the fabric. I think I'm holding mine upside down, so kind of ruined the shot, but anyway. So this, what we've decided to do is we are all launching our vlog today. This is Tuesday, you are watching this, um, to give our ideas and inspiration about what we're gonna make with this fabric and then at the end of the month, 31st of October, I think we've agreed, we will have our reveal of what we end up decide of what we end up deciding to do. So I'm going to talk to you now quickly about the things that I think might look great in this fabric. Now, thank you for everybody that gave me suggestions for this fabric. Very, very lovely. Um, and and all of the ideas were absolutely amazing, but please don't be offended if your ideas aren't in this. I did love reading them all and I appreciate you taking the time to comment. Right, for this I have four different options that I am thinking I could use this fabric for. So, first of all, I'm going to talk to you about the trouser option. So, this fabric I really, really think Mm, wouldn't it look amazing in a pair of trousers a wide leg pair of trousers because the print wouldn't be broken up too much it wouldn't worry too much about pattern matching too much and I think it would look really nice I had a look through my stash at what trousers I had and I had two trouser patterns the first one was the flan patterns the Tyra trousers which are similar to the and I do the palazzo pants they are similar to the SD um, in respect to their wide leg trousers with a fold over waist but they have got pockets here that you can see and they just give them a little bit of a different detail so yeah I thought they would look quite nice and for one point the maximum amount well for my size I'd need 1.8 meters of fabric and I have two meters of fabric so they were a good option um, so there's those Difficulty three for woven fabrics, and it says suggested fabrics, light to medium weight woven, such as viscose, tensile, polyester crepe, and other fabrics with good drape. So, although this is a linen, it has got a viscose content, so it's got a lovely bit of drape, but still a, some nice body to it. And I thought they would be nice for jumper, or and then they would transfer over into the summer as well. So, you know. I thought it'd be a good option then the other pair of trousers that i came across that i've got in my stash are the portobello trousers by nina lee so these are simple elegant and oh so flattering the high-waisted portobello trousers are a cinch to make and work in a variety of fabrics the trousers are constructed with front pleats and back darts and a center back concealed zip along with all important inseam pockets so suitable fabrics are light to medium weight wovens, ideally with some drapes. So these say crepe, linen chambray, linen chambray, rayon, lightweight wool, cotton lawn, velvet. So yeah, now I've never made these before. So that's the only thing that makes me feel a bit nervous. Fabric wise, it says 2.2 meters of fabric, but I know these come up very long and I am short. So I am confident I will get those out of two meters of fabric. So yeah, there's those two. Which ones do you like the look of? Let me know. Now I have two dresses. Now one of the dresses is one that I have made before 
and that is the till dress by Fibre Mood. Now I made this in a is it a cloud nine? I can't remember, but I'll put a picture of it. And I absolutely love this dress. It doesn't fit me at the moment, gutted. Um, but it's a really nice shirt dress with this statement collar. And again, I think in this fabric, it would look absolutely beautiful with some tights and boots. And again, it would transfer into summer. So yeah, that one as well. So it says, Tilda is an understated shirt dress that's practical and trendy to a T. With a button closure and plain set in short sleeves, the fairy dust to Tilda's straight cut and relaxed waist is the collar. Embrace your imagination. You could add a layer of ruffled fabric or lace trim between the collars or go for a simpler look and admit the collar altogether. So yeah, lots of options there. And I do really like that dress. I would have to size up. Um, but yes, it's a very nice pattern. And then finally, this is a new pattern that I bought this weekend. And it is the Solar Floor Dress by Mason Fove. And it's stunning. And I think this would look great in this fabric. Now, mm, it takes 2 to 2.3, but again, I am not tall, so I think I will be all right with two meters. It says, discreet elegance, a streamlined cut beneath its apparent simplicity. The beautiful solid floor dress has a very assertive look. It's a straight cut. It's supported by a belt and the front slit on the side feminizes and rejuvenates the silhouette. It's signature play on pleats in the back neckline and a large collar which elevates with, without constricting the neck so you can hold your head high. Embellished by a button placket that allows it to be worn closed or open and folded down. It says light to medium weight fabrics such as fine poplin, twill, crepe, fine jacquard, supple denim, cotton, viscose and silk. The only other dress that I really was tempted to make in this was the Davenport. Now, I've not been the biggest fan of the Davenport by Friday Pattern Company before. However, whenever I see anybody else making it, I love it. I just don't like the picture on the front of the pattern. So, when we were at the dressmaker's ball, Nadia from... The lovely Nadia had a Davenport on, but without the frill on the sleeves and without the, the second tier so it's more like a kind of tunic she'd done elastic in the waist as opposed to a drawstring and it looks really nice so I'm thinking that might be the other option if I could squeeze it out of this I think that would look nice too so yeah they're my choices so either the Davenport short version a Mason Fauve Solid floor dress, which I cannot say, the till dress by Fibre Mood, or one of these trouser patterns. So, who knows what I'll decide. So, okay, well, let me think. Let me know which one you think I should make. I'm dying to hear what your thoughts are. And, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. So, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and join me on the 31st for the reveal and if you haven't already head at what Beck sews and Shannon's at the sewing warehouse to see what their plans are because that's what I'm going to be doing now um, and yeah we'll see you all back on the 31st thanks everyone bye